There was a term coined not too long ago called Vistopia. It was meant to describe all the negative emotions that being a vegan entailed, including anger, grief, alienation, frustration, despair, hopelessness, and powerlessness. There's no doubt that anger and sadness are the only valid reactions when an empathetic human being becomes aware of the unfathomable extent of animal suffering going on in the world. I believe this injustice is unparalleled with any other, just in terms of sheer volume and length of time it's been going on, and the absolute innocence of all victims involved. And yes, it's undeniably horrendous, and the world needs to wake up to it quick. But. Allowing yourself to become engulfed in this suffering and dwelling on it is not only counterproductive, it's self-destructive and contagious. Shared negative emotions are contagious. I do not believe that veganism needs any sort of term like dystopia because it assumes that these feelings of anger and despondency after becoming vegan did not pre-exist. I believe they were within you long before you ever became aware of animal suffering. In fact, it is perhaps why you can identify so strongly with it. Now, when someone who advocates for veganism on their platform in the public eye feels the need to unload these feelings of despair, even if they're just temporary, they don't realize it can make veganism look like a burden. It may be cathartic for that person who's reaching out for others to sympathize, but it ends up achieving the opposite effect of empowerment. And that's what the animals need. They need us to be strong for them, mentally and physically. This is why I'm such a supporter of being careful what you think, eat, and drink to keep yourself as healthy as possible. When you take alcohol, pharma drugs, street drugs, you are killing brain cells. You need every bit of your mind in order to be the most effective to keep yourself from hitting that breaking point. You've got to figure out what is at the core of these feelings. Think back to when you first felt this way. Is there a void in your spirit? I personally find that my spiritual beliefs give me great comfort and the strength to weather any trouble that pops up in my life. The world as we have created it is a process of our thinking. It cannot be changed without changing our thinking. This just makes perfect logical sense. Absolutely everything is available to us. Sorrow, joy, grievances, forgiveness, horror, transcendence. It's all on the menu. It's up to us where we put our attention. And whatever you hold in your mind on a consistent basis is exactly what you will experience in your life. When you get really clear and honest about what you want, everything in the universe conspires to help you get it. That's the key. Take a good hard look and be honest with yourself. If you find you're wishing for something shallow that would feed your ego and is not going to evolve you spiritually, then that very well may be why it feels like you're beating your head against the wall trying to get what you want. Instead of succumbing to despair and wringing your hands and wailing, sit down and ponder what you'd like your life to become and what you'd like the world to become. Envision the world as a beautiful welcoming place for all the creatures currently suffering. And you can be sure that when this does come to pass, all human suffering will cease also. Because it was through unselfishness of helping another species that has taught us unconditional love and forgiveness that humans will be freed from their own suffering also. In fact, people should be envisioning this daily and universally. It's a powerful collective mindset that only takes a small minority to affect change. People need solutions and coping mechanisms, not constant commiseration. Step outside yourself. Visit animal sanctuaries. Rescue and bond with animals. Sure, you'll feel those temporary bursts of anger and sadness still, but you'll be able to cope with them and not let them take up permanent residence inside your head. And aside from reaching out to help others, I believe the surest pathway to happiness is creativity. Creation is everything. Find a way to access it. Find a way to channel it. Create results. Create beauty and reveal truth through art, music, and writing. Create new thoughts in others. Create something that never existed before. The world of creation is finished, and the original of all things now lies within man. Each person can regain the original mastership of his own Garden of Eden by using the divine gift of his imagination with which God has endowed in each of us. If your goal is a vegan world, then you must consider what sort of effect your words and actions are having on the plight of animals. Are you advancing the cause of veganism? Or are you bogging it down with self-directed pity and discontentment? Be conscious of how your mental attitude and mindset affects others. 